Thursday, January the 20th. We now come to a point where we may hear the word International Criminal Court quite often because mm -hmm. the red shirt leaders say they're going to sue the Thai government in the International Criminal Court. Yes, they're going to have Robert Amsterdam represent them. Mm -hmm. And a press conference is expected on January uh, 31st. Mm -hmm. It seems that Mr. Amsterdam Sorry. is involved not only in representing Kun Taksin, but you know, on international scenarios, international incidents, like the last one, remember mm -hmm. the Helsinki Commission, mm -hmm. uh, he was the one who helped uh, convince the... We believe that he was, uh, we, we believe that his <laughs> fingerprints were in, in, in that issue. Yes, and now the Russian leader, the new Russian leader, Kuntida mm -hmm. Tawon said, who said when she took over that it's nothing to do with Kuntaksin anymore than the Red Movement. Mm -hmm. And now she says, Mr. Amsterdam, who is Kuntaksin's official lawyer, mm -hmm. will, will represent the Red Shirts in this mm -hmm. ICC appeal. That is very interesting mm -hmm. because uh, this, is, this is the court, International Criminal Court, uh, is set up to have jurisdiction over war crimes, mm -hmm. uh, crimes against humanity, mm -hmm. and uh, some genocides. Mm -hmm. So uh, having uh, a lawyer associated with Kun Taksin mm -hmm. on one hand and then representing them on the other could have some mm -hmm. you know, regal uh, mm -hmm. uh, questions. Yeah, yeah. So what is this ICC thing? Well, can really, can anyone who is not happy with the government go to ICC and say, I want to take my government to court? Well, first of all, they have to prove that this is a crime that falls into the category that under the jurisdiction mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. this court. But another uh, major thing is that this court uh, will have authority over uh, 110 member countries only. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, countries beyond its jurisdiction have to be dealt with on a voluntary basis, which, which means that the court can mm -hmm. summon anyone from any country, but it will depend on the government whether they want to. Mm -hmm. uh, hand over or extradite the suspect to the court or not. And is Thailand a member? Thailand is not a member. Thailand is one of several countries, uh, major countries that are not members. Mm -hmm. and, uh, including? Burma, uh -huh. China, yes, and you guess who else? The United <laughs> States. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the, the, the other thing that can be done is that the court can ask the UN Security Council mm -hmm. to order the arrest or to order the extradition mm -hmm. from non-member countries. Well, wow. again, you know who um, uh, dominate the uh, UN Security Council. Well, you have China, you have the United yeah, States. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. So it will be a very difficult process. It's been, this has been recurring a uh, problem of the court since the uh, 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 beginning. Mm -hmm. And uh, mostly when it comes to the non-member countries, uh, the, the case just stop like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, we believe that the, maybe the red shirt just, uh, the, the best they, they can aim for is for the court to accept the case. Yes. And then mm -hmm. it, can, it can become a big political issue if the court accepts the case. Mm -hmm. which, uh, which will take time, of course. The court will, will, will spend quite a long time to, to investigate whether they have grounds, they have enough grounds to, to, to accept it. What do you think the red shirts will use as the category under which they can sue the opposite government? Uh, well, we can, we, 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 we can see some hint on the website of Robert Amsterdam himself. Mm -hmm. he, he, he's been calling this uh, Bangkok massacre. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, of course, it's uh, uh, killings of uh, his own citizens mm -hmm. uh, was naturally justified the uh, accusations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that would mean that the 91 people killed in the military versus the protesters mm -hmm. would be the main sort of... Yes, uh, that, that, that's the main thing. But, but the, the complication is that not everyone killed uh, belong to the uh, Richard side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, interestingly, the DSI again came out today and said that uh, some of the cases were believed to be involving the Red Shirt, some, some of the okay. people. Uh -huh. uh, uh, so, so to speak, uh, uh, the DSI is saying that half, they, they have concluded an investigation into 25 cases mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the, during the April and May mm -hmm. uh, crisis. And they say that of 25 cases, uh, 13 uh, people, 13 dead, mm -hmm. believed to be the result of uh, 
military action. Right. But uh, 12 others are believed to be involving the red shirt uh, so militants. It could get quite complicated. complicated. And if some yellow shirt leaders uh, say that, okay, we're going to sue Thaksin China what in the International Criminal Court too, because uh, of the October, cases. And the October 7th yeah. killing of a red shirt, uh, a yellow shirt. Yeah. Leader, so, also. so this would not be simple, but I think the main purpose now for the red shirt leaders is to make a case out of submitting the suit against the government in ICC and make news in an election year. In an election mm -hmm. year. Uh, we are still waiting for the postponed uh, meeting of the Helsinki Commission to resume. Uh, we, have, that? we have not heard any uh, development from that, uh -huh. uh, from, that uh, from that aspect. Though. So the international scene, we hear a lot of from Thailand, but uh, I, I doubt whether there will be really any concrete actions. But then, this is politics. Politics means news, headlines, publicity, and doesn't matter where it ends or whether it would ever come to any conclusion at all.